We did our last interview in 2016, and we talked about the whole Drake writing situation. But at the time, things were kind of brand new, and a lot of things weren't really mentioned, and other stories started coming out. Everyone that was involved spoke on it afterwards. So I just kind of you know, want to go back and set up the proper timeline and kind of tell the whole story since you're here right now. Is, sure. is that okay? That's cool. Okay. So you were already rapping and you were already, you know, working with, you know, legendary people like Dream and so forth. How did you end up originally looking, uh, linking up with Drake and writing for him? Um, yeah, like I said, I just, uh, I met um, Boy Wonder in a random, like, session in Toronto that I had through the the red zone situation I was with at the time. And um, so I just I just shot a random Hail Mary text to Wonder one summer, uh, maybe 2013, 20, top of 2014. And um, yeah, he, he was just, I was like, yo, can I send you some songs? He's like, yeah, I sent him some songs. He fucked with it. He was like, okay. You know, he was working on uh, Obi O'Brien at the time and he had me come work with Obi O'Brien. And then I guess the word from Obi O'Brien moved over to Drake. He was just like, yo, uh, Drake wants you to send some songs. So I sent some songs and uh, yeah, Wanda was like, yo, he's fucking with this Tim Band song. He's fucking with this hard. So yeah, I was, I was really excited. I thought I was gonna have a Drake feature. Cause at the time Drake was just doing random features for just up and coming artists, you know? So I thought I was about to be one of those lucky artists and um, yeah, it, it turned out to be what it was, but yeah. Whatever happened to Ovi O'Brien? Cause he was like right there in the mix and people are thinking he's going to be the next person out. And then he just poof, disappeared. I, I'm not sure. He was, he was a really cool dude, man. Shout out to Ovi O'Brien, man. Shout out to Ovi O'Brien. Like both of those guys, they were really cool. Um, welcoming dudes at the time, you know, um, who knows? Okay. So you get in the studio with Drake and you end up basically co-writing what became used to 10 bands, legend and six man. Yeah. Yeah. I also wrote on bless. Uh-huh. Uh, I also wrote on bless too. That was when I first met big Sean, um, during that session. Okay. And what was the vibe like working with Drake and OVO 40 and everyone else? Man, at the time of, you know, I don't know. It just felt like a dream because everybody was just so welcoming. It just felt so cool. I felt like I was, you know, a part of the shit. Like, you know, Drake literally was looking me in my face like, yo, man, this album wouldn't be possible if it weren't for you. Like, you know, you really helped. You have no idea. Da, da, da. Like, you saying this to a dude that was working in the bakery, you know what I'm saying? Like, I thought my dream was over with after tr tricking him, dropped me off, you know, like, like, I was fucking crying like a baby, you know, cause I'm like, how the fuck else am I gonna do this? You know, they they were the people that I knew and I ain't have nobody else, you know? So it just felt like it was just one of the best times, you know? Um, yeah, it felt like I was on the team. Well, I'll be honest. I mean, I've listened to every Drake project I would say, if you're reading this, it's too late, is my favorite Drake project, period. And I'm not just saying that because I'm talking to you. Uh, that's actually, I feel like Drake was really rapping through that whole project. And, you know, I like Drake singing as well, but I feel yeah, like that sure. was like that, that hip hop project that he put out. I feel like, uh, obviously, I have a bias, so I, I can't, I don't really like to rate uh, if you're reading this. I just kind of like to hear what people say, you know? Um, Obviously, for me, it's, it's special for a lot of reasons, you know. Um, but that's it's good to hear, man. <laughs> for real. Yeah, no, I mean, I keep it 100 when it comes to my music opinions. Uh, Thank you. you know, even, even if they're unpopular, <laughs> which you, they man. often are. But Thank yeah, that, that project I thought was great. It was just a great, great nah, no tell. Project. I remember my, like, specifically No Telling. That was, like, one of my favorite memories off the song because that was, uh, off the album, because that was the one song that, you know, a lot of songs, like I sent ideas and we kind of bounced ideas back and forth via email and shit like that. Or, you know, but I, no telling, like we kind of worked on that one together. And that was like, that was like a real cool moment for me, man. Like to go in the booth and try some shit and then 
he go in and he fuck with it and he add some shit. You know, like it was just like, man, it felt like I made it. Like, yeah. Real validation, you know, for a guy that got that got cut from the team from tricking them, you know? So Well, I mean, with Drake being arguably the biggest artist in the world right now, what is it about Drake in the studio that's different from other artists that you've worked with? And you've worked with a lot of the greats. Man, to me, it was just surprising just how, like, regular it felt. You know, it felt like making a song with friends, you know, like, just going back and forth, just bouncing. You know, I, I would, a lot of times I'd be nervous thinking that he wouldn't fuck with an idea and he would fuck with an idea. And I'm just like, damn, maybe because he's Drake, I'm just thinking it's not that. But, you know, like, it was real, it was real, like, a. I guess down to earth vibes in the studio, you know, it wasn't no like uh, super egos or anything. If anything, it was more encouraging me. Like, I'd be like, nah, nah, nah. And they'd be like, nah, bro, like, do your thing, bro. Like, keep going, you know? So, um, yeah, it was good times, man. While it lasted, it, it, it seemed like it was something different than what it was. <laughs> 